Some people love so many things more than Allah, but they don't realize it. So in order to get our love of Allah far beyond the love of material items and position and wealth and so on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us constantly to spend in his cause. We heard a verse in the Taraweeh that was recited yesterday, a verse that struck me. Wallahi, I almost cried in salah when I heard this verse. And I know I've heard it so many times, but Allah guarantees you. My brothers, my sisters, Allah says, وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ خَيْرٍ يُوَفَّ إِلَيْكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تُظْلَمُونَ Whatever you have spent in goodness, we will definitely compensate it for you in full and you will not be oppressed. You spent one rand, Allah swears that he will give it back to you, multiplied. Allah swears that he's going to give back to you whatever you spent, far more than what you spent, not necessarily in cash, sometimes in cash. In my life, I've seen, you know, people give me bottles of perfume. One example. Now, if I were to keep these bottles of perfume, I would have a factory bigger than the perfume factory itself. So what I do normally, uh, as you give me something, I'll give it to the next person. Good intention. It is permissible to give a gift as a gift to someone else. And to give a gift as a gift and then be given as a gift and then be given as a gift until it goes back to the first person. It's a good sign. We used to believe that it's prohibited. No way, it's not. It's meritorious. You love something, give it. Subhanallah. So when I give it away, every time I get another two. Subhanallah. Someone else gives me. And then I give away two, I get another four. Subhanallah. And whenever I talk about it, I stop getting them. <laughs> Subhanallah. It's something amazing. Sometimes in cash, you give someone, you've helped them in a big way. And Allah opens your doors wide open. Subhanallah, you got it. That's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But sometimes not in cash, sometimes in kind. You have good health, you have obedient children. You look at your spouse and the coolness of your eyes you feel because you helped people. And sometimes our lives are in a mess because we could have helped and we didn't help. We could have helped, it was easy. Allah says, al ma'un." You know that verse where Allah says, those who actually stop giving even that which is basic small someone asked you something light minor and you had no reason not to give it you know sometimes if we don't want to encourage beggars we might not want to give that's not necessarily a bad deed because you have a reason of not encouraging but a person who never asks and suddenly they've asked you sometimes they've got to a point where they have no option but to ask you need to be able to vet and gauge and you need to know how much to give where to give how to give etc but you need to use your discretion because I tell you, the day we are in need, may Allah never, ever make us from among those who need to go out to beg in order to survive. Subhanallah. Allahumma kfini bi halalika an haramik wa ghnini bi fadlika amman siwak. That's a beautiful dua. Oh Allah, let sufficient be for me that which is halal such that I don't have to go into haram. And oh Allah, you make me independent by trusting in you such that I never have to reach out to fellow human beings or anyone besides you. Amen.